the time I <coughs> by the time I woke up, Brendan was already gone. Oh shoot! I should hurry up and get to class. Oh, sorry. I'm off, Pikachu. Morning. How's everyone doing this morning? Hope you all had a good night's sleep because we'll be covering a lot of material today. This will be on the test, so pay close attention. Professor, you haven't even explained to us how testing works in this class yet. Oh, is that right? Well, now is as good as a time as any. As you all know, aside from raising Pokémon, you're responsible for passing both the midterms and finals for your homeroom and elective classes. On top of those, here at homeroom you will also be giving quizzes every Monday and Thursday before the end of the day. Not only will some of the questions be present on future exams, but getting them right can help you outside of school. Take my word for it. I'd pay attention to those to these lectures if I were you. You'll thank me sooner than you think. When Professor Oak says stuff like that, you know he's being serious about it. So probably follow his advice. They haven't let me down before. Right then, how about we start off with some review? Who can answer this question for me? Mud Mudkip is what species of Pokemon? Mudfish. You have an answer? You give what you believe is the correct answer. That's right. I see you've been doing your homework, and I've also been playing Pokemon for the past 15 years. At least. Mudkip is indeed the Mudfish Pokemon. Trainer is insight increased. That was easy. Maybe this class won't be that bad after all. You can expect harder questions than that last one starting from now on. Also, You'll have quizzes for each of your elective classes, too, so don't come to any class unprepared. Now then, let's move on to archaeology. Oh, God. <laughs> archaeology, okay. As you all know, first traces of Pokeballs didn't appear until the discovery of apricorns in the Jota region over 500 years ago. It was not until 1925 when Professor Westwood V developed the prototype of our modern mechanical Pokeball. And classes. Oh, oh, wait, what? So we're just skipping, skipping over lectures now. Good morning, class. Considering you just had your homeroom, you should know that you'll soon also have quizzes every Friday here. That's such a bummer. You're a fan of Fire type Pokemon, right, May? With your Torchic and all. Yeah, but still. The good news is that these quizzes won't affect your grades in this class. However, the questions will show up on your midterm and final exams, so make sure you pay attention. Phew. The first quiz will take place this Friday. Review the material. I'm assuming this kind of thing is going to apply to my other elective class, too. I wonder if I'll be okay having to juggle all this schoolwork and raising Pokémon. This kind of school should have expected things to start getting serious this early. Yeah, seriously. When you walk into a classroom that looks like a church and not a classroom, well, you know, probably should have expected it to get serious kind of early. Oh well, I just need to start getting serious myself. And gym class. Welcome back, everyone! Are you all ready for a productive day here in the gym? Well, it really doesn't matter if you are, because you're gonna have one whether you like it or not. That's what the school pays us to make you do. <laughs> I'll bet all of you are wondering just exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I'll show you. Come on out! And it's a Volcarona. A Volcarona! As expected from one of the previous world champions. Wow, that's so cool. Oh gosh, look at its wings. They're like 
The prettiest things I've ever seen. Can I take a picture real quick? Settle down, class. I'm only using him as a demonstration. Bruno, bring out the du the dummy. Is this good? That's perfect. A balloon bot. Are we super training today? Super training? That sounds like something straight out of a video game. Oh, they're... So <laughs> they're self-aware. I love it. <laughs> no, not today. It's too, still too early in the semester for that. Today, it'll be something a little simpler. So, super training is a real thing. Let's get started. Ah. Alright, everyone. I'm sure you're all eager, st eager to start battling on your own. But the school says I have to follow the curriculum. T Ten year old can, can get by here. I heard that. Have some patience. <clears throat> Let's continue with Volcarona, shall we? What will you do? So this is... We have a battle system in the game now. Okay. Fight. Uh... We'll go with we'll go with a quiver dance first. Okay. Bloomba, you splash. And another quiver dance. All right, we're going to follow that up with, uh... Well, considering none of these moves are effective against Rock... Ah, uh, Flamethrower it is. Alright, let's go for another Quiver. And hurricane. It missed. Okay. Bug buzz. Oh. Bug is effective against rock, huh? Okay. Okay, one more quiver dance and another bug buzz. Ought to do it. Maybe. And a bug buzz. Oh. Not quite. Alright. Now, who is it that said 10 year olds can get by here? <laughs> there you are. Hmm. Oh, it's. There you are. Hmm. Oh, that's right. You're the one interested in joining the Academy's battle team. Are you serious about that boy? Yeah, that's right. Why wouldn't I be? It's obviously the perfect stepping stone for me in becoming world champion. Hmm. If that's your goal, world champion. I'm sorry. There's a whole lot of you in this class, and I haven't memorized everyone's names yet. You are... Blue. Surprised he didn't include his last name. Bet it could have at least triggered some response from Alder or Bruno. You, the red hat. Which one? There's two of us here. Hilbert and myself. Uh, huh? He's definitely not looking at me. I was gonna say. Wait, Hilbert and... Who's the other guy? From Gen... Six? You slowly turned your head toward Alder. Yes, yes, you. What's your name? Uh, Turbo. Turbo, why don't you and Blue have a spare have a spar right here in front of your fellow classmates? What? You heard me. Perfect, I've been waiting for this. This can't be happening right now. Yo, you got this, dude. Good luck, Turbo. 
Wanna borrow my Bulbasaur, Turbo? I... I think I can handle this. You say so. And our first battle of the game. Alright. Yo, Turbo! I have one favor to ask of you before we start. Uh... Favor? What is it? Just make sure you last more than one attack. What a prick. Choose your Pokemon, Charmander, of course, because that's the only one I have. Oh, shit, you chose a Squirtle, I forgot. Alright. So... We're gonna start with... A Bite. Ah. Alright, how about Scratch? Okay. And Frap stopped working again. Wonderful. Okay, so where were we? Uh. Alright, let's go with another bite. Okay. Why is this battle so close? I should have a clear advantage. Because you haven't used any special attacks yet. How else? Okay, Squirtle has fainted. We are victorious. What? What? Whoa, I won! N no way! I was just careless. Nicely done. That was a good battle. Both should be proud of yourself and your Pokémon. Speaking of which, let's get him fixed up. Nice. Once again, thank you, Blue and Turbo, for showing us a fine Pokemon battle. Pokemon certainly looked like they were enjoying themselves. Remember to always keep this in mind. Pokemon battles aren't just, aren't just about winning. What matters most is how you and your Pokemon work together as a team. And gym class is over. That'll be all for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bruno's just like in the games. He doesn't... He says almost nothing. Phew. I'm beat. Maybe it's the added pressure of having the whole class watch me during my first Pokemon battle. I feel like they're way more tiring than they should be. I mean, not even doing anything of the real... Doing any of the real battling Charmander is. So why am I so worn out? A little early to have bags under your eyes, don't you think? Huh. And like you, I'm still new to all this Pokemon battling stuff. Others said we're gonna be having a lot more mock battles, so you're in for a real bad time if every little match tires you out this much. You said you wanted to join Battle Team, right? Can't, can't expect to make it if you're wiped out after one. Never thought, I never said I thought it was gonna be easy. I'll get used to it soon enough. You better get used to it quick. I heard their captain's merciless when it comes to new members. But to be fair, you did pretty good for your first time. Sure you never had an official match before? Nope. Sort of thing's hard to come by in Pallet Town. Considering we're the only two trainers in Pallet Town, myself and Gary. What you about your friend, uh, Gary was it? He looked like he knew his way around the field. Oh, you can't compare me to him. He's wanted to be a Pokemon trainer since we were kids. It's all you'd ever talk about whenever we hung out. Oh, well, what about you? What about me? Why didn't you why didn't you want to be a Pokemon trainer? Because I I really don't know. Being a Pokemon trainer was always Gary's thing, so I haven't really tried and gone all out like he has. I guess the most honest answer I could have. Is that has never really crossed my mind. Would you believe me if I said I'd never thought about it? Of course not. Why Why would you apply to Kovacon Academy? You didn't exactly apply. Hey, what's keeping you? Trevor found us a table out back. Who are you guys talking about? Turbo says he doesn't want to be a Pokemon trainer. What? I didn't say that. 
Oh, sorry, he said he never thought about it. Don't be silly, Leaf. Everyone in Kobukon Academy is studying to be a Pokemon trainer. Why would Turbo be any different? She's not wrong. No, she's really not. What? Wow, he's not kidding. Turbo, this is Kobukon Academy we're talking about. You can't be going around saying stuff like that. What's well, a big deal? It's not like being a Pokemon trainer is the end-all, be-all job in the Pokemon field. Except that, you know, it kind of is. I thought you two said you wanted to be Pokemon coordinators when we got out of school. Being a Pokemon coordinator doesn't excuse us from needing to start out as Pokemon trainers. You can't expect to make it far in the world without a solid foundation of Pokemon training, you know. Even though the two of us aren't going to Pokemon training professionally, we get that Pokemon training is a skill that we need to have. Same goes for you, Turbo. I don't know how I feel about being lectured by all these by these two of all people. You would have think if I'm looking at their faces, but man Brendan got gets surprisingly serious when it comes to stuff like this. It's not like you have a choice anyway. Like it or not, we're gonna get pigeonholed into becoming age trainers by the time we make it out of school. If we make it out of school. You guys getting tested in your electives too? It's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna have to study like no tomorrow. But we only have three years till graduation, so I can understand the busted curriculum. But real talk, Turbo. You wanna stay in the school, you're gonna have to change your mentality. Saying this for your own good. I have nothing to say. She's right after all. You can't be so amb amb ambivalent. If there's any time to start rethinking things, it's now. Uh, anyway, anyone ready for lunch yet? Oh yeah, I was waiting for you to say that. And dark class. As expected, I'll be taking weekly quizzes in here too. That means we'll have to. At least four quizzes a week, split amongst my classes. I can see why so many people here are nervous about their futures at this school. There's so many things to keep track of. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Whatever happened to Pokemon being fun? Good work today, class. You're all dismissed, but remember to do the assigned readings. Hey Turbo, you doing anything after class? No, not really. Guessing you want to go somewhere again? Was it that obvious? Uh, yes. If they mention something once, it's probably gonna happen again. You know, I'm not third wheeling with May and Brendan, so it's up to you to entertain me this afternoon. Ignoring the fact that you're basically saying I'm, a, I'm your backup plan, I'll do my best. Where do you want to go? The gym again? Hmm, why don't you decide? It's only fair since I chose last time. Alright, let's go down the map then. Oh yeah, the recreation center is not that far from here. Does that place have a swimming pool? Uh, I guess so. Wouldn't mind checking that out. I haven't been to a pool in years, let alone one in school. Oops, I just remembered I have to be somewhere right now. Sorry, but I can't today. It's super important, so I'm gonna have to bounce. Sorry. Um, that's okay. Don't have to apologize if it can't be helped. Maybe next time. See you later. Leaf left. <sighs> we just got we just got ditched. What's with her all of a sudden? Never seen her so flustered before. Is there something at the recreation center she's not comfortable with? Oh well, that's not gonna stop me from checking out the pool myself. If I'm lucky, maybe they'll let me take a load off and swim for a few minutes. After school. The pool's enormous. Reminds me of some of the ones used at the Pokeathlons in Goldenrod City. The pool this fancy. I figured there'd be students all over the place, but there's no one in here. Though I'm sure when clubs start, the swim team's gonna take over. Wait, 
I see Misty kneeling over by the side of the pool. Looks like she's inspecting the water with her hand. Hey, what are you doing? What? Misty nearly falls face first into the pool. Ugh, what? Turbo, don't scare me like that. Yikes, hurry. I wasn't trying to. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Are you about to take a dip in the pool? No, the water doesn't seem like it's ideal for swimming right now. I was just here to check... Chew. Who's... Uh... What are you doing hiding behind all that wall for? Are you eavesdropping on us? Ugh. Wait, that's not what it looks like. Who the hell is that? Well, what does it look like? Because to me, it looks like you were waiting for... Her fur. Were you spying on me? You thought I was going to hop on the pool or something? Uh... This guy's a bad liar, whoever he is. <laughs> hey, get back here! Wait, wait! Too late. Damn, she runs fast. I think, enough, I think that's enough of inspecting the pool for the fun day. I'll come back when things aren't so weird. Night. Hey, I'm back! Hey, dude, welcome back! Pikachu is sitting next to the door waiting for you again. How do you get him to do that? What can I say? I guess we're just really good friends, right, buddy? Huh. You two really do talk like you're f more friends of Pokemon and Trainer. It's kind of blowing my mind. Um, what? Well, it's like you two are actually, you actually understand what you're saying to each other. This is how we always talk. You don't talk the same way with your Pokemon? Not really, man. Well, yes, no, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I just talk however I want with my Pokemon, but I don't think they understand what I'm saying half the time. I sure as hell can't understand what they're saying. It's like you guys are speaking some invisible language. Is it really weird? They're that weird? I haven't met many Pokemon trainers before, so I've always assumed they were like me and Pikachu. Can I really be that different from the norm? Maybe it's because Pikachu and I have been together since I was a kid? I don't know what to say. Nah, dude. I don't think that's it. Me and my Pokemon have our own history, too. You have a Pokemon from home, too? You bet. My parents are sending my Talo over right now. I've had my Talo since I was a little kid. Man, and I caught him together right outside Petalburg City when we were visiting my dad. Haha, <laughs> we had no idea what Taylor was. And we just had to have our own Pokemon. It took us days to decide who got to keep him. Wow, I figured you'd have a Pokemon at home, but I didn't expect there to be a story. Guess I'm nothing out of the ordinary. Come on, you can't think that. Everybody's got a story to tell. How I got my Pokemon shouldn't affect anyone else. What really matters is our bonds. Every trainer's relationship with their Pokemon has its own quirks. That's what makes it so great. But hey, it's enough rambling from me. I'm gonna hit the sack. Gotta get up early for my morning run. Night, Turbo. Alright, good night, Brandon. You guys should sleep too. I'll head to bed soon. But before that, I need to review my classwork. All this talk about being a Pokemon trainer and our goals makes me a little concerned about my future at this academy. If I'm gonna survive this school, I'm gonna have to work my ass off starting now. Trainer's insight increased.